Hi, today we're going to take a behind the scenes look at what it's like to work at the Meek. Follow me. All right, so this is our commissary. This is where we keep all of our things for all of our animals, all the husbandry things and stuff like that. All right, so this is where we prep Captain's food. The most important thing is wearing gloves because I have germs that Captain doesn't have and Captain has germs that I don't have. So we wanna make sure that we're keeping everything nice and clean. We usually feed her two times a day, uh, but on weekends we feed her once, so we give her all of her food at once. She gets a head of lettuce. Uh, one romaine and then another head of leafy green lettuce. She gets a green bell pepper and then a cucumber. We also take weights just to make sure that she's getting a consistent weight of all the food. Um, so follow me this way. We'll grab her lettuce. We use these containers. They help keep the lettuce extra fresh. It helps make produce last a little bit longer. So we turn on the scale. We tear it so we're not counting the container. We take one head of the romaine, drop it in there. And then we take one head of the leafy green and we drop it in there as well. So once we get the weight, we put it into a tablet just to keep all the data collected for us. And then we tear it. We're gonna grab some cucumbers and a pepper. Right. So you wanna make sure we wash the vegetables. Again, just keeping Captain safe. Uh, we cut the pepper up into small pieces and the cucumber up into small pieces uh, just so that they're bite-sized. Sea turtles don't have any teeth, uh, so we don't want Captain to choke on it, so we want to make sure that they're in easy enough pieces for her to then use her beak and start bringing it to her digestive system. So we usually cut it in eight pieces like this, so we'll go ahead and weigh them. All right, we have 257 grams, and then we'll tear it again. Uh, for the peppers, we also cut them into small, smaller pieces, but we also take out the middle part. So we don't want Captain to have this because seeds are not good for her digestive system. Awesome. And then again, we just cut them into smaller pieces just to make it more manageable for her to eat. these so it's 281 grams we also uh, keep a track of what we feed her with just so that she gets more stimulation um, and that she doesn't have the same feeder over and over again she gets bored enrichment is one of the hardest things with animals in captivity so we try to keep it more exciting for her when she eats so then we submit it the data is then logged and we can access it online just to get an average of how much food she should be eating injuries we also give her vitamins and calcium pills and fiber pills every day um, and I'll give you a look at what that looks like when we're outside so we just keep them in a little traveling container we put this back inside and then we will head to the pool
like I said, we have a whole bunch of feeders that we use for Captain. Uh, we keep some of our feeders in here. And one of our favorite ones is the Ying Yang Ball. Which looks like this. So first I roll up her pills in a couple pieces of lettuce just so I know that she's getting those. And then I will stick the rest of the lettuce in these feeders and then set it into the pool and she has to manipulate the ball and use her body to then get the food out of there. So Captain is conditioned to know when the purple target is in the water, snacks appear. Um, and this makes it really easy if we need her to come up to us, especially if we're giving her pills, or if we need to adjust her backpack or anything like that. So it's kind of like how you sneak medicine to your dogs, but instead of peanut butter, we use lettuce. So I take one of her fiber pills, I roll it up, tuck it in there so it doesn't slip out at all. Then I have a nice lettuce roll up. We use these tongs just so that she doesn't associate fingers with food because she has a serrated bill and it would not be very fun to lose a finger that way. So I drop the target in the water. When Captain sees it, she comes right over because she only loves two things in life. First thing is breakfast, second thing is dinner time. And then I'll drop the target in there and I wanna make sure that that pill goes into her mouth first. Awesome, she's so good at this. And just like that. All right, so one is done. and then we'll toss it in the pool and we'll let her work for her food now. And Captain knows it's feeding time, so she's ready. Bring it to the top of the water. And we'll let her go. 